covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. On episode 648, just seven weeks ago, we talked about how Apple plans to drop Intel for its own processors for future Macs. But it came as a surprise Monday that these processors will be ARM-based. It's a big move, and perhaps the biggest addition the transition to ARM-powered chips brings is the ability for iOS and iPad apps to run natively on Mac OS in the future. Apple says most apps will just work, meaning you'll be able to run native Mac OS apps alongside native iOS apps side by side. Apple is promising new levels of performance and far less power consumption when it, with its move to in-house processors. Apple is designing its own range of SoC for Macs with unique features to Mac, but a common architecture across product lines. Microsoft is working on Office updates for the new Mac Silicon, and Word and Excel are already running natively on the new Mac processors, with PowerPoint even using Apple's Metal Tech for rendering. Apple has always been also been working with Adobe to get their photo editing apps up and running on the new chips. Mac OS Big Sur will also include a new version of Rosetta. Apple used Rosetta previously for the PowerPC shift to Intel-based Macs, and Rosetta 2 will automatically translate ex existing apps at install time. This means that even if developers haven't fully updated their apps, they should still work without modification. Apple is also using virtualization for running versions of Linux on these new Macs. Apple's transition to ARM follows a similar move by Microsoft to experiment with Windows on ARM nearly a decade ago. Microsoft started this work ahead of the Windows 8 release in 2012 and even released the Windows RT operating system that was designed for ARM-based hardware. Microsoft has since transitioned Windows 10 to ARM as well. Apple will release the first Mac with Apple Silicon at the end of this year and it expects the transition to take two years. New Intel-powered Macs are still in the pipeline, so Apple isn't moving exclusively to ARM-based Macs just yet.